Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to make my favorite home fries and sausage. And it's real easy to do too. Get yourself a couple of russet potatoes, some chopped onion, and some chopped green or red bell peppers. What's important here is that when you cut your potatoes, you want to keep the sizes consistent so that everything cooks evenly. So I'm doing it with little cubes and uh, no bigger than that really. Keep them that size. Then we'll bring that over to the stove, get a pan nice and hot. We're going to add some olive oil, but you can use vegetable oil. And to that, you will want to add some butter. Everybody knows that I like to use olive oil and butter together. It just makes things taste great, right? It makes it fabulous. I don't know if that's a real word, but it makes it delicious and fabulous at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and sweat these onions before doing anything else. Of course, you always sweat onions, right? You always do that before you add the other ingredients, and there's a good reason for doing that. So just stir them around. You're not trying to cook them. Just heat them up a little bit, and then add your potatoes. Now, some people would use cooked potatoes, like they would boil potatoes, let them cool down, and chop them up. But I'm using a different method here, whereby we cook, do everything in one pan. And we're going to use that seasoning that we made in the last video. That is a homemade Cajun seasoning that I used for blackened salmon. You remember that? And I did mention that you can make home fries with it, and that's what we're doing here today. So this is the first seasoning. And what I do is I put a little bit of that seasoning in. I don't fully season it yet, because all I want to do is mix this up, because I want those potatoes to absorb the butter and oil and seasoning before I actually fry the potatoes. And so to cook them, we add about a tablespoon of water to that pan and just put on a lid. It doesn't have to match, it just has to be a lid. Now just let everything steam in there for about five minutes and then check for doneness. And the best way to do that, just use a paring knife. If it slips through nice and easy, the potatoes are cooked. At that point, you can start flipping things around. I do want to make a point though about the pans. If you use a non-stick pan, you're going to get a slightly different result. Things are going to crisp up a little bit better because nothing's actually sticking to the bottom. And now we're going for the second seasoning, which is nothing more than just a little more oil, a little more butter, and a little more of that seasoning. Because remember, the first seasoning was just so that the potatoes would absorb it initially. That was the main reason for adding the seasoning back then. Now we're just, this is the final seasoning. And once you have them browned to the way you like them, we're gonna go ahead and add some cooked breakfast sausage. That's right, breakfast sausage. But you could also do this with smoked sausage, or kibasa, or chorizo. Oh God, you could do it with just about any kind of sausage. And then we're gonna put on a little bit of cheddar cheese. Not too much, but it really should be cheddar. Okay, I wouldn't try to use mozzarella. It's not the right type of cheese for what, not the right flavor profile, I should say. And then we'll put it in the oven. We'll throw it in the oven just long enough to melt the cheese, and that's it. And what you end up with is this fabulous breakfast or main course. It doesn't really matter. Serve it up with some eggs and toast, and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you come back each week for more great videos made for people who like to cook. Until then, bon appetit.